is Ken Wingard, who Hello. started this whole uh, thing tomorrow or yesterday. Yes, yep. yes. We um, sort of are building the front yard little by little. Mm -hmm. We did our tombstones yesterday, which is totally fun. And today we're doing Creeping our out tomb. A little bit. There with a little bit. It's Baron von Steinus's yes. tomb. Your great, 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 great. great. Oh, okay. I see. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. So this is Dave's sketch, and we're sort of working our way around. Now, right in the center, you can see is our little is our little cemetery there. So we made the tombstones. We're doing the tomb today. Tomorrow we do our little stand. Skeletons. So, so is that the foam, the same foam you use for the gravestones? Yeah, so this is the insulation foam. You get it at any of your big box stores. We did two inch yesterday. We're using the two inch today and we're using the one inch. We've gone over several ways of cutting it. I have uh -huh. those fancy tools. You can also use a bread knife. For this, there are big pieces, so I want to show you another little trick for cutting big pieces in a straight line. Yeah, because you, you gotta need a big knife, don't you? Right. All you need is a, a ruler and then just a regular exacto. straight exacto. And That's then not going to go all the way through it. Right. Just score it a few times, and then all you have to do is it will easily just <gasps> snap what? nice Wax and on. evenly. Wax oh. on! Wax on! <laughs> wow, you're like the karate kid. So that's how I cut these pieces. Uh, we got started earlier today. That was fun. <laughs> so here's the layout of the pieces. Two of them are, not yet, two of them are half inch, and the rest of them are two inch. And so what I did was just build the, the box first, and that's just going to be two sides and two long sides made into a big old rectangle. I'm using wood glue, but any kind of adhesive will work. And then I'm just using wood screws. Those are three inch wood screws just to hold in a place really until all the glue sort of solidifies. Once you've got your actual rectangle, then go back and you can build the base and the top. The base, I'm getting a, the two inch piece, and then I'm putting a half inch piece on top, which just gives it some architectural sort of shape that I'm using one inch screws there to hold that in place. And then I'm doing the same thing with the lid. Um, the lid, a little bit of adhesive, put on your half inch, and then a, add in your one inch screws to hold that in place. So basically, once you've done that, you have your base, your top, and your lid. All you're gonna do now is take that rectangle, the box, and glue it onto your base. Um, if you want to go up through the bottom with some screws, you can on that. And basically, there you have it. You're basically done there. Okay. Um, and now to get it from that to this, it's all the same steps we did yesterday with chiseling away, adding right. the cracks, using sure. the three paint, the three paint wash. So go to our website, follow up on yesterday, and you can get all it's those. So beautiful. I mean, it just it's doesn't so, look great. Oh, great. And all from a thirty-five dollar piece of foam. And the know? stuff that adds to it is the little nuances of the stuff right. laying around it, and mm -hmm. all just. Well, what really adds to it, if you let me slip over here, uh -huh. is our moving mechanism, and that's going to be really easy. This is Debbie called this out right away. During this is a disco ball motor. I know this very well. I used to have a disco ball in my first apartment in New York City. This will cost you about nine bucks. It usually yeah. hangs from the ceiling. But we have a four by four and just a scrap piece of plywood. You live in Studio 54. I know, I did it, but I wish I did. I'm going to have Mark just sort of attach that okay. to the top there. Right. In the meantime, I have like a four inch disc here and I've got a paint stick. And so all we're going to do is just add a bolt. You notice there's a little hole here I drilled in the center. We're going to add a bolt through the bottom. And just put a, a nut on there. Yeah, this is a, not a real paint stick. What's oh, a paint stick? Get it from free. Don't ever pay for a paint stick. Um, you're gonna screw that on, and then you're gonna do the same thing with a longer piece on this end, and that's gonna act as our mechanism to hold the um, to actually move the guy. Then all you're gonna do is take yeah. this, a little bit of Gorilla Glue, okay, which fixes everything. Which I fixes find. everything. Put some a little bit. drops down on the inside here. And then all you're gonna I do had, is first glue. First time I had that, that, that was sure, so good. I bought. I went ape over it. It was so. Oh, bad, 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 you bad. You can't go gorilla. Let, you let that go set up, and then let me show you how to actually put this in place. I went bananas over so it. So go ahead and take your lid, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, put a little, drill a little hole, and put a washer about four inches in and twelve inches down, and then on the other end you're going to put a little peg in there, and that's gonna actually act as the pivot point for your lid. Now on your actual a coffin, cut a bigger hole, and just get a cap. This is a cap from um, PVC. It's a half-inch PVC pipe, and I'm actually plushing that in with some super glue as well to hold that into place. Now take your mechanism that we've just built, set it inside, pop a hole into your styrofoam, and pop on your lid. So that little cap, that little peg goes into the cap, and then the long bolt at the end of your paint stick, that goes up into that washer, and so that is going to move and act as your moving mechanism. So then all you do 
plug it in. We I, added a smoke machine, I and am, that's it. Honestly, I am completely in awe of you and Dave and everyone in our props department. This is the coolest this thing. Let's see really it at night. We have a great night shot. Look how it lights up. Let's see what it looks up. like at night. Hmm. What? I know, totally oh spooky. Freak the kids out. Come on, freak oh the kids out. God. And the way it moves, because a disco ball motor moves very slow, so the way that this moves just The fact enough. she knows the RPM on a disco no, but ball the, motor. No, but truthfully, if you're walking by so, and this just moves a little bit, Do so you know what I mean? You don't want it to go too fast. How much does this cost? Uh, the whole thing, 40 bucks. 40 bucks uh, without the motor. The motor costs another nine. There's a joke there. I just got to go find it. <laughs>